Welcome everybody. Welcome beautiful people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Marvin LeBlanc and welcome to tonight's Marvelous Scope. Here we go. Let's move that camera up a little bit. Excellent. <clears throat> Again, my name is Marvin LeBlanc and tonight I am responding to many of people that have left me blogs and have left me comments uh, either on my blog or in my email. Welcome Rod. Welcome to the house. Tonight we are doing some marvelous scopes. Tonight's subject is the four most important things I learned to run a business. The four most important things I learned to run a business. Uh, welcome everybody to Periscope. If you're new to Periscope, uh, remember a couple of things here. Etoile Falante is in the house. She's a regular follower. She's also a college graduate, and she is a lady of many talents. And uh, I am happy and honored to uh, be one of her coaches, although a lot of it is self-appointed. But we may get into that a little later on. So as an introduction, my name is Marvin LeBlanc. Uh, you can find all kind of information on me and my topics at MarvinLeBlanc.com. So you can see my homemade sign uh, that many people make fun of. I almost, I'm trying to get a new sign, but so many people have made fun of it, I might even keep it. Um, so MarvinLeBlanc.com is a place for you to go to MarvinLeBlanc.com forward slash blog and you can get over 200 different blogs on all kinds of categories from leadership to motivation to attitude to um, uh, customer service, productivity tips, any number of things. Also, it is very, uh, very widely used for team meetings. So if you uh, are running a team of people. Mr. Holcomb is in the house. Thank you, Mr. Holcomb, for sh showing up. Uh, if you are uh, in charge of leading a group of people and you're looking for uh, new information to share with them uh, with regular meetings, welcome, Jim, uh, then uh, you can go to these blogs and pick these up. Uh, can everybody hear me uh, okay right now? because I'm trying out a different microphone and um, is my sound coming over fine? Thank you for the hearts. Yeah, just go crazy with the hearts. Those are always helping. I appreciate it. And if you go over there and hit that little man over there, that little Periscope man and share this with others, I really would appreciate it. I also wanna welcome the people that are watching this broadcast on a replay. And as, as always, if you don't know, there are many of my broadcasts that are waiting for you right now. All of the ones that you may have missed, you can go back in at catch.me forward slash Marvin LeBlanc. That's K-A-T-C-H dot me forward slash Marvin LeBlanc. <clears throat> and you can uh, see all of the different broadcasts. The other thing I'll share with you is... Um, uh, I love to get emails because it helps me prepare future material. And that email address is Marvin LeBlanc Speaker at gmail.com. So it is true that I am a nationally recognized speaker. I am a national member of the National Speakers Association. I am a former member of the year of the New Orleans chapter of the National Speakers Association. And it is true that I have an Amazon Kindle best-selling book called Come Hell or High Water, Life Lessons from Hurricane Katrina. So in case someone is interested in looking at uh, this story uh, and finding out how can this guy come back from that devastation, uh, be homeless at 43, lose an office, lose a house, lose all my team members, 
lose 68% of my income in the first 90 days and come back and win my company's highest awards two consecutive years in a row. By trade, I'm in South Louisiana as an insurance and financial services uh, uh, owner of a firm. Uh, so I am licensed throughout the state of Louisiana for those services. Um, but the point of tonight's conversation is you. And so let's focus on you and these six most important pieces of advice that I receive. There is a man, his name is Scott Foster. Scott Foster is an insurance professional in Conyers, Georgia. And Scott Foster was kind enough to take me under his wing uh, in the early 90s because I was and am still and am strongly encouraging you to also be a study group rat. So whatever profession you're in, uh, you need to strongly uh, get implanted into study groups because study groups are not optional for you to stay current as you move through whatever industry that you are in and from whatever position that you wish to serve. So when I met Scott Foster, Scott Foster in many ways has been a top 10 agent out of thousands upon thousands of agents. And so uh, the very first point that I want to cover with you that, that Scott shared with me is uh, be ever mindful of hiring quality support staff. Hiring quality support staff. Now, we all uh, run organizations that certainly sales needs to happen so that revenue uh, can be produced. Um, but this truly great leader uh, focused specifically on quality support staff. And what I think he was getting at is while it's wonderful to bring new business in, uh, you don't get paid or compensated for any business that leaves out of the back door because they were underserved. And so point number one is to uh, hire quality support staff. Um, we must always constantly be vigilant about recruiting and hiring and scouting new talent. Uh, I was once insulted in a meeting uh, by a sales coach who uh, made a very valid point. His name was Jack Daly, D-A-L-Y, and um, he gave me a wake-up call that was very important. And we were sitting in a meeting one day, and, and he said, Marvin, um, are you currently hiring? And I said, I thought about it for a little while. I thought about each of the desks in my office, and they were all filled with with team members. And so I told him, no, I'm, I'm not currently hiring. He says to me, so what you're saying is that you currently have uh, the best people in all of America currently working for you. Ow, that kind of hurt because... Uh, I love my people. My people are quite competent. They, they are capable. They're uh, high quality individuals that, that uh, I love and respect. Uh, but to say, you know, that they're the absolute best in North America, that, that kind of that kind of hit me uncomfortable and that's exactly what he was trying to accomplish because he was trying to get me to expand my mind as I am currently right now trying to uh, influence and inspire you to expand your mind that if in fact uh, you can't say you have the best team in all of North America then that truly does mean that we need to continue to constantly recruit new talent, okay? Uh, the next point that he uh, emphasized was uh, make sure that you are regularly v visiting with your clients, regularly. What does regularly mean? In some industries, it could be once a year, once every two years. In other industries, it could be once a quarter. I was talking to an air condition uh, expert repairman uh, last night, 
and he has a group of managers that know him quite well because he is excellent on making consistent maintenance calls uh, so that he doesn't have to be called out in the middle of the night. And so he has a relationship. And so when a substitute person came in to do some maintenance work for one of his clients, they asked, well, where's Larry? Well, Larry happened to be uh, supervising a larger job. That job was still getting uh, done. Uh, but they were expecting Larry because of the level of expectation that he had provided with frequently intentionally showing up. So how often do you need to show up? Um, what is your strategy for soft touches with your clients? Uh, because you need to touch that client just at the right time. And here's the challenge. The rules have changed. Some of the companies that are watching this broadcast hasn't, haven't actually realized that the rules have changed. Uh, and a lot of our clients simply don't want a phone call. So we have some people who demand a return phone call right away. Usually those are older uh, clients. Uh, and then there's other uh, of my clients, especially the millennials, um, that are not going to answer a phone. Uh, they may want a text message or they may want an email. And so our job is to provide what they want as close to when they want it as possible, assuming that we want to profitably stay engaged with that client. I hope you really heard that. Um, find out how they wish to be contacted and give it to them. If it's cell, text, email, phone, Facebook message, my goodness, there might be something else that I might, I might have missed. Thank you for those hearts. I really appreciate it. Um, what I believe is my effective niche is that I am consistent, I am constant, and I daily educate uh, the tribes of the people that I serve. Notice I said the tribes of the people that I serve. I want you to write this down. Um, there was a book that came out in 1988 that was uh, pivotal and revolutionary. And the name of that book is called Tribes by Seth Godin or Godin. Either way, I've heard it said both ways. G-O-D-I-N, Seth Godin. I uh, would strongly recommend you to go to the uh, internet and uh, look up his TED Talks called The Tribes We Lead. Uh, that t TED Talk is 17 minutes and 29, se 29 seconds long. Uh, I think that that 17 minutes will be time well spent for you. Um, so what are my tribes? Uh, well, my tribes are uh, my insurance and financial services uh, tribes. It's uh, been uh, being built since January of 1987. Tribe two that I serve is my marvelous performance tribe. Uh, these are actual business owners, salespeople, aspiring writers, speakers, and people that are just trying to get unstuck. So I am a leadership and sales small business expert and some people uh, I have different hats for different people because whatever they want uh, from me, uh, I go out of my way to try to serve them in the best way possible. And so uh, that's my effective niche is that I set up systems and I try to be ever faithful to those systems. Once again, that's Seth Godin. Uh, the TED Talk is The Tribes That We Lead. The name of the book is called Tribes. He later had another book, book that came out called Tribal Leadership, Tribal Leadership, uh, and both of those uh, will help you tremendously. Um, another way that I help people get unstuck is, as I said earlier, earlier um, is uh, there's over 200 blog articles that are written at marvinleblanc.com forward slash blog. 
those are absolutely free so if you go there and you subscribe you're probably going to get mm, maybe one email a month uh, depending on my editorial calendar because I'm up against uh, my second book's deadline and so things are running pretty tight on a schedule. Um, so that's my first two tribes and then I've been thinking and uh, I, I tribe three is actually what I would call my Periscope tribe and right now I'm, I'm still uh, processing and thinking it through but quite frankly the Periscope audience um, is quite unique from the other two tribes that I serve. Uh, even inside of Periscope, uh, there's some sub-tribes, uh, I would call it. And that is um, the Periscope viewer uh, in the morning, uh, I think, is expecting a different type of uh, scope session from me. Uh, and I'm also receiving a different group of people than, say, the more nocturnal people such as myself. Uh, I, I love the mornings and I love the nights even better. So, you know, uh, I'm good for three, nights, uh, three hours of sleep per night whether I need it or not. Um, so that would be Tribe 3 as my Periscope tribe. So let's review a little bit here. Uh, Scott Foster first said, higher quality support staff do frequent client contacts and interviews and visits, set goals in all lines of business. Um, so um, if it's insurance, it could be auto insurance, life insurance, health insurance, or flood insurance. Uh, somebody in financial services could be uh, a mixture of banking services, financial products. Uh, so my question to you is, what are your services uh, that you offer? Uh, are you a coach? Are you a speaker that writes? Are you a writer? Are you a writer that speaks? See, are you a speaker that writes or are you a writer that speaks? Do you view yourself as an instructor? Do you view yourself as a teacher? Do you view yourself as a counselor? Because you need to spend some time uh, concentrating on how you view yourself so that you can accurately share with others what it is that you do and that others will accurately describe you to their friends, neighbors, coworkers, and relatives as well. The next thing that I want to talk to you about in setting goals uh, in your in your business is um, it doesn't have to be fancy software it could be a simple uh, a spreadsheet uh, but you do need to concentrate on tracking your book sales your CD sales your DVD sales uh, your analytics from analytics from your website your analytics from say Google um, uh, maybe a simple Periscope worksheet uh, one of my early mentors right now uh, in Periscope is a guy that you should be following. His name is Michael Cinquino, C-I-N-Q-U-I-N-O. Uh, and I took uh, his class. It's a six-week class uh, for $47. I'm sure that that price will have to go up. I received my money back just in the very first session, and we're into thir the third session now. If you email me... Uh, at Marvin LeBlanc Speaker, Marvin LeBlanc Speaker at gmail.com. What I will do, and if you put in the subject Periscope Worksheet, Periscope Worksheet, uh, we will send you the actual Periscope Worksheet uh, that we use to track our analytics on Periscope. And I didn't. I didn't uh, make any new categories. I wrote down what he said to track. I gave it to one of my virtual assistants, and voila, she came up with a great, simple Periscope worksheet that we are going to regularly track 
uh, the responses that we're getting, what time of the day, how many responses we're getting, how many hearts we're getting. Hearts are important, uh, and hearts count, by the way, whether or not you are live or uh, in a replay, from what I understand. The last two lessons that I want to share with you is uh, one from a fantastic agent that's uh, less than 10 miles away from where I sit right now. His name is Cliff Urso in Donaldsonville, Louisiana. And Cliff Urso, many, many years ago, when I didn't have these small little patches of gray hair, he told me, Marvin, always hire one more person than you need and then find something for them to do. Always hire one more person than you need and then find something for them to do. Man, has that been critical over the last three decades for lots of reasons. Uh, number one, always. There's always something coming up, whether it's a t continuing education class, a child is sick, a husband could get transferred, or a wife for that matter, um, or uh, a life partner can be transferred, and then you're stuck. So that is critical advice that I would strongly share with you in your business. I would also strongly suggest that there's a lot of people that are approaching trying to start different businesses on Periscope, but the fact is that their businesses are doomed to fail if they don't listen to this advice, and that advice is you cannot operate from a poverty mindset. Uh, if someone tells you, well, uh, you can start a business uh, by broadcasting live on Periscope and that business will take, uh, take off running and you'll never have to invest a penny. Well, my advice to you is you can't run fast enough in the opposite direction because nothing good comes that easy, okay? Sustainable wealth and sustainable success, sustainable significance takes sustainable, intentional effort, okay? Um, if your parents or your loved ones told you, if it doesn't feel right in your gut, you should listen to that gut, I would suggest for you to listen to that advice. Um, take it from someone who has the gray hair, who's been in many, many businesses since 1978. Uh, that's, that's worthy advice. The last uh, lesson that I learned was from my 92-year young uncle who recently passed away, Julian LeBlanc. Uh, and he gave this advice to me long before I ever started my career. And that was, Marvin, if you focus on giving the company that you represent, what they want, you will end up getting what you want. So give them what they want. It could be a franchise, it could be whoever, whatever you're representing, assuming in this particular case that you're not just totally self-employed. Um, but if you are totally self-employed, you should know ahead of time what is an acceptable level of performance that you're trying to achieve. Do not swim against the current. Not every idea that your company that you represent you are going to approve of and not every idea that they are going to develop is going to work. But if you work for that company, then work for that company. If you do anything, do not swim against the current. Why is that? Because you are a human, you are not a spawning salmon. You're not a spawning salmon. You're not meant to swim upstream on a constant basis. So don't do it, okay? Find a way to uh, align your core values with the core values of your company and then life for you is going to end up uh, where you wish it to be. So that's my uh, scope for tonight. In recap, I'll just say number one, hire quality support staff. 
Number two, do frequent reviews with the clients that you serve. Number three, set goals in each line or category of business that you do. Number four, uh, uh, if you focus on giving the company what they want, you will end up getting what you want. Uh, number five or six, you'll figure out that I got one of them mixed up. Uh, always hire one more person than you need and find something for them to do. So if you write those down, just recently I uncluttered my office and found some actual notes from 1993. And what was excellent about it is um, although I had misplaced those notes, those notes, because I had written them down, were still working uh, through the power of your subconscious mind. And probably 70 to 80 percent of those goals in 1993 have been reached. But had they not been initially written down, according to Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Repetition is the mother of skill. There's a reason I'm leaning in. There's a reason why I'm repeating it. You need to read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And now because it's 2015, when I say read, I'm also saying if you want to be in audio university in your car, then certainly um, both of those will get into your subconscious mind and make a positive influence. So I appreciate you being with us tonight. Uh, another platform that is available to you if you choose to have a platform because I don't do this all by myself I have a team have a team of people um, that help me along the way and one of those groups of people is called Perry 10 kcom forward slash join that's P E R I 1 0 K dot com forward slash join this is a group of Periscope collaborators, Periscope sharers and givers. Uh, I don't know any of them that are takers. These are caring people and we support each other and Perry 10K is an unbelievable platform to multiply your business awareness throughout the Peris Periscope world. So I'm Marvin LeBlanc. I wish you a good night a great tomorrow, and most importantly, I wish you peace, love, and gumbo. Good night, everybody.